Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Exor. Level 7, Dolly's Revenge, is the first of several that begins by throwing us in with a very difficult puzzle to make it tricky to get out and explore the rest of the level. As you can see, if I were simply to move through here, then when I come back into this room the fish will land in front of the door and block it. That can be avoided by placing a doll here, but to get it there we have to do a rather complicated shunting manoeuvre like this, and this did take me quite a while to work out. I'm not getting this map piece here, for a reason. To get something to land on this bomb, we have to form a bridge with the dolls, but there is the obvious disadvantage that once the doll is brought against the far wall, it can't be moved out again. So we will need the fish as well, that's why I left that mask there, and also this map piece to bring these two fish across. And now we can see that the difference between levels 6 and 7 is that 7 is all about doll manipulation, with just one shield. Presumably the designers thought this would be harder than with two, because you no longer have the option of using one shield as a buffer to stop the dolls moving. I'm not sure, to be honest, whether I would judge six or seven to be harder. But this puzzle is very cunning, because your immediate reaction is, ha ha, this is easy, but the designers thought it would be hard just because there are lots and lots of dolls. Well, Let's just come down here a second. To get the chicken onto the bomb, we need to make a column of eight dolls from this puzzle. So yes, getting to the mask is easy, but doing it in such a way that we can bring eight dolls down to the lower room, that's the difficult part. There go our first two, here's number three, four, five, and we can already see that we're going to be one short, so we need to get one from somewhere else, and this is a very difficult puzzle. First we have to take these, but leave the other masks for now, so that the doll can be moved like that, push the chicken down, that frees the other doll, which has to be manoeuvred like this. Now the top chicken is irrelevant, just let it go. Although we do have to come here and shunt it out of the way that the doll can be moved, and even when we're down to just these elements, it's still easy to make a slip. We have to do things carefully in order so that the doll can be moved out, and that gives us our eighth doll for the puzzle downstairs. I'll just shunt these into place. And this puzzle is also an extremely difficult one, which I don't think I'll have time to explain in full, but the idea is that we make a column of fish before we push the first fish out, because there is only space to push one fish out, and... Anyway, it's time to switch over to Magus, who also begins with a very difficult puzzle. Obviously one doll must be got there, but, um, hmm. Uh, this one's not quite as tough as Questor's first puzzle, but I, it did also take me a while to get this one. And down here we have our last two map pieces. Let's push this fish there, just in case. And we will want to get that chicken down that corridor there, so we need to push this fish into place to act as a buffer for it. There we go. Now let's leave these dolls for now and go and look at this last area of the level, which is quite a difficult puzzle. To get the dolls into position, they have to be pushed carefully in that order. Now the fish can be brought, brought across both of them. But we still need these dolls, so we'll bring this one down here. You'll see why very soon. And then the other one comes after it, and that one is used for the fish to land on so it can hit the bomb. But there is another bomb over here, that's why we needed the two dolls. And we and still reuse the doll one more time to get this fish onto the bomb. So, although level 6 I think was difficult because we weren't used to the idea of the two shields cooperating, this one is also difficult in its own way. So I think these two between them, even though neither is particularly harder than the other, I think these two levels reach a peak of difficulty that will not be exceeded for a long time. Now here, if the fish just goes straight down and lands on the bomb, it will destroy the mask. So it needs to land on the left bomb, and that's what this doll was brought out all the way over here for. Those are our last few shields, and we'll now just make the long trek back to the door with the quest door. 
It may interest you to know that this level is the longest level of the game. It is the only level that is believed to require more than 1,100 moves to complete. Well, obviously, I've used a lot more than that myself. See you next time.